Howdy, friends and neighbors! If you've been reading your copy of The Sanctuary for Lent, our devotion booklet for 2022, then you've probably noticed that for the last couple of days, our scripture readings have come from Psalm 27. Even though this book was written and printed last year, these verses are perfectly fitting for the things that are going on in our world today. Let us consider for a moment the conflict happening in Ukraine right now, the violence, the injustices, and all the unknowns the people of Ukraine have had to live through in recent days and weeks. And now, let us consider their lives and ours as I read Psalm 27 from the New International Version of the Bible. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. These timeless words were written by King David almost 3,000 years ago. And yet, verse after verse, they speak so accurately to what is going on in our world today. This is a good reminder to us that human nature has not changed. Our technology and news coverage may have changed, but human nature has not changed. And God has also not changed. Just as King David put his hope and trust in the Lord, no matter what his enemies did, no matter what kind of attacks he faced, in the same way, God is still active and working in the world today. Did you know? Almost 90% of the population of Ukraine are Christian. Even as they trust in God to protect them, we unite our prayers with theirs for God's protection and strength. Perhaps King David put it best when he closed Psalm 27 with these words, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. When we wait for the Lord, that doesn't necessarily mean that we do nothing. Obviously, many of those in Ukraine have actually made drastic changes to their lives. But even as they fight or flee or rebuild, they wait for God's ultimate justice and provision to come through. Verse 13 says, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The words of this psalm are a prayer. Not just for us to see God's goodness, not just for God to bring beauty to our lives after the austere season of Lent, 
but for the people of Ukraine to see God's goodness, even after the awful and terrible events of recent weeks, that God is faithful and they will see God's goodness once again. Let us continue to pray for them, even as we draw closer to God during this season of Lent. I hope you continue to find meaning and comfort in your daily devotions. Thank you for joining me and have a great week.